everybody, it's Allison. Two days in a row, how about that? Today we're gonna be making some really fun cards using the small die of the month and the large die of the month from Spellbinders. And this is for May 2024. So here are the cards that we will be making in today's video. And I have so many ideas for these kits. They are so fun. They are definitely my favorite kits in a while. Let's start with a large die of the month called Grand Tropical Flamingos. And there are two flamingos. And I'm just going to show you the dies and some of the pieces that I cut out. Um, so there, there's the little beak. Um, now there are, there's a flower that has all these separate pieces. And I'm going to show you how to assemble that later. And then there's a bunch of tropical leaves. I won't be using, well, I'll use one on this card, but I'll be using more of those leaves later in a different card. So let's uh, just start assembling. There's this little eye piece uh, on the flamingo. And I just popped it out, put a little bit of tape on the back of the opening, and I'm coloring that pink eye black and that way I don't have to cut it out from black cardstock. I can just use what I have. I do that a lot. And here's the little beak. There are two parts to it and I cut them both out in white and again I colored that black part with the, the black marker. Now I am going to be doing some simple ink blending throughout this video. This is perhaps the most simple because I didn't really get very much effect here. Um, but that's okay. There are two little parts that I didn't use for the legs. It kind of joins the body to the legs and I opted not to use those. So really simple to attach the legs here. Now here is more simple ink blending. This is Bristol Smooth Cardstock and Distress Oxides. And the pink color is Spun Sugar. And the other color I'm going to use is Speckled Egg, which I haven't used in a while. And if you ever have trouble ink blending, try this combination. Bristol Smooth with Distress Oxides. It is just, it's like butter blending. It's just so easy. So now that I am happy with that blend, I am just going to splatter a little bit of water using my hands and just blot it up with a paper towel. And there we go. All right, here are the little flower pieces. And I have my waffle flower shader plus brushes out just to do really quick and easy blending here. Uh, and by the way, I keep my brushes in these craft stacks from Spellbinders. I love these little containers. And here I grabbed a smaller Shader Plus brush. And there's these little parts to the flowers. I'm going to glue one of them on right here so you can see. Not every petal has these pieces. Just a few of them. And I thought this flower was interesting. I don't often see spellbinders um, having flowers like this where they're all different pieces, but it's really easy to assemble. It's kind of like a puzzle and you'll see, I'm gonna show you how the parts just kind of fit together. And you can decide what order you wanna put them in, uh, but as far as, you know, fitting them together, it's really easy. Again, it's just like a little puzzle. So I have already attached some of this to my card base. Now this tropical leaf I cut out of black glitter cardstock, and I have been meaning to use this glitter cardstock for a while. This is all new from Spellbinders, maybe a month or two ago. And look at all of these colors. I used black today, so I'm gonna link to the set that has the black in it, but I think there are two different variety packs on the website, and then I think you can buy the gold and the silver separately. And look at that pink, that would make a great flamingo in this set. 
So I have assembled two of those flowers that I just showed you. And I'm gonna glue this glittery leaf down. Now the sentiment I grabbed from my stash, this is a hot foiled sentiment from the Seahorse Kisses sentiment set. I use this set a lot. And when I hot foil sentiments, I, I try to hot foil a bunch at once so then I have them in my stash. Now for the Flamingo, I am just adding some thin foam squares to the back and then I will pop, pop her up there. And I'm really loving how things are coming together at this point. Now I grabbed a little bit thicker foam square to attach this second flower because it has to straddle the Flamingo that I already popped up on thin foam squares. So I always find it easier to put the foam squares on the panel when I have other elements that I'm trying to avoid. And then you see here I'm using my craft pick to just put a few more foam squares underneath. Now here I decided I wanted to add another element uh, with that black glitter cardstock just to tie things in. So I'm just pulling off the original centers of the flowers. And now this is black glitter cardstock that you just saw me put down. Uh, and I'm gonna put this very top on. So the very center is black glitter. It's, you can't see it on the screen, but you'll, you can see it in real life and it just kind of ties it in. And I did put some thin foam tape on the back of my sentiment. And now I can just pop that up there and use my T-square to make sure it's nice and straight. And for the final details, so the pink, the two pinks and the cream sequins in my little tray, those are all from Spellbinders. I'm not sure exactly where I got them. I think some came in a holiday card kit. I think some of them came in last year's um, crafty advent calendar, uh, but they are the perfect colors for this card. So I put some on there. And here you can see I'm using my craft pick again to put just tiny little pieces of foam squares underneath the feet and this card is done and I just love it and again that super simple blend in the background I think is really beautiful all right let's move on to the small die of the month this is called tropical friends and here in the middle there is I don't know if it's a parrot or a parakeet uh, I don't know my birds very well but there's also some foliage there's some there's some branches and here is the toucan and he is adorable and I'm going to assemble him first so here are a bunch of the pieces and there's even more pieces to the side now his little face has an eye and a cheek and I cut it out of white and again, I am going to use markers to color these because to me it doesn't make sense to cut it out again in pink cardstock just to get a pink cheek and blue cardstock to get a blue eyeball. Uh, you'll see what I'm going to do with the blue eyeball in a minute. I'm going to start attaching the little colorful pieces of the beak. And there's just one die that cuts out these four pieces of the beak. So I, I did cut those out in the different colors. And so now I have a bunch of spare parts to make more toucans because you can never have too many toucans. So here's the last piece. How fun is this? All right, so I've put tape on the back of this face so that I can just pop in those pieces similar to what I did on that flamingo at the beginning and now I can glue this down and there's one more part to the eye this little teeny tiny black piece and even more tiny I realized I wanted 
white in the center. So I cut those out again and there's this teeny tiny, teeny tiny little white piece that I'm going to glue right into that hole in this black piece. And my eye is done. Now this little black sliver piece um, it looks like a smile, so it's really cute, but it's really just to show where the beak separates, where the, so the little guy can eat, right? Here are the little feet, and finally I popped up a little wing on some thin foam tape. And there he is. All right, this is a really easy card. This is a scalloped die from the Heartfelt Thanks and Scallop set. I use this a lot lately. And I took some masking tape and I used the scallop lines to perfectly, to come up with a perfect horizontal border. And I'm just taking some blue ink and very lightly ink blending this. I don't want too much ink. I don't want it to go to the edges. I'm just trying to kind of create this horizon line or sky. I don't know. Uh, and then I'm going to stamp simple sen sentiment. So this is the color me happy stamp set from Concord and ninth. And I'm going to take the first part of the sentiment and try to line it up right on that little horizon line. And then I'll stamp the happy underneath it. And how cute is that? Really simple. And this is honestly outside of my comfort zone to leave all this white space. I did add some dew drops. Um, I used these dew drops a lot from Memory Box. And here is my last card. So I'm going to show you a second way to make the beak for the toucan. There's a solid piece in the die set. And I just cut it out from yellow cardstock. And for this card, I am going to be basically ink blending all of my die cuts. I did a little bit on the flamingo, but not really. <laughs> and I didn't do any of that on the second card. So I'm just taking some pink inks on that yellow cardstock, and it's going to kind of turn it orange. Now for the parrot slash parakeet, still not sure what he is. Um, I put some yellow cardstock on the back behind those holes in the belly. And now I'm taking some yellow ink and rubbing it or blending it on the belly and on the head. And again, it's creating kind of an orange tone. I'll do the same on this pink leaf. And for this tropical leaf, this light pink, I'm just taking some pink inks. And for the blue... You know, I'm just taking similar tones and just adding some shading. Now this leaf has two parts, so I'm kind of playing with the top layer and just adding a little bit of ink blending. All right, this little guy has these tail feathers. This one die cuts out three tail feathers. I did cut it out in different colors. And then you use this piece to assemble those three feathers together. I didn't do that though. I'm kind of just making my own tail and I don't know. So this is what I came up with. I, I just wanted the feathers to look really loose. So I taped it when I was happy with how they looked. I taped it at the top. And now I'm putting a little bit of glue so I can attach it to his butt or whatever you want to call it. And I don't know. That was just the way I wanted to do it. His, his wing, too, there are three parts, and I only used two parts. All right, here we go. Here is just a small glimpse into my process when I'm arranging things like this. I arrange it to death, especially when I'm tired, which I talked in my video yesterday about how it's been a crazy month and I'm, I'm just very exhausted. I actually wish I had stopped with that last variation. 
Um, but if, if you give me enough time, I will overthink this, especially when I'm tired. Um, so you can see how many different variations of this design I came up with. And for this leaf, I came in with a little bit more of a green tone just to differentiate it from that other blue leaf and to tie it in with that the little swoopy leaf that the parrot is sitting on. Now here is a stamp set called All the Sentiments. This is from Stampendous, which is carried by Spellbinders now. And I just grabbed the little sentiment that says a it says a happy, but I just wanted it to say happy. So you see me here taking washi tape and covering up the A and then inking it, removing the washi tape, and now I can stamp it and it just says happy. And now I'm just gluing down my elements. Um, now you will see at the end that my final card looks a little different than what you see here. This little yellow leaf on the right, I had tucked in um, underneath the little swoopy leaf. And it, so I, it wasn't glued down, so it was easy to remove um, when I was done because again, I just thought it was throwing the balance of the card off. But for right now, this is what we have. I'm attaching this to a gray five by seven card base. Now this birthday sentiment is from an A2 gift card holder. This is a die set that I've been meaning to use. I need to use. It's just one of the many things on my desk that I've been wanting to do. So at least I used the birthday sentiment from it. And I used that black glitter cardstock to create that birthday. And here goes the parrot slash parakeet. Which one is it? I don't know. Um, I put him up on foam tape though. And now I'm using a little thin black foam square to put a black glittery wing on the toucan. So now here you see the difference in my card. I took that yellow leaf off and I added a yellow flower next to the birthday and then another yellow flower up in the upper left. Um, I do love this card. I still don't know which variation I like the best, but I am really happy with how it turned out. I, I just think these birds are adorable and I have so many ideas and not enough time. Anyway, uh, I am really happy to have you join me today. I hope you enjoyed these cards as much as I enjoyed making them. And I will see you next time. Take care.